Back in March, when we first started working on CanCan, -Can, an open version of TikTok, little did we know just what would unfold over the summer. TikTok's popularity was exploding as the world hunkered down during COVID-19, and we wanted to show that a decentralized, scalable version of a video sharing app was possible on the internet computer. What we didn't know was just how relevant our work in the concept of open internet services would become amidst political battles, turmoil, and public scrutiny that TikTok and big tech are currently facing. On September 1st, we ran a survey from our Definity Foundation Twitter account and asked all of you who should win the bid to buy TikTok. And 61% of the participants said that they would prefer an open version of TikTok like CanCan. -Can. This begs to question, if users are asking for it, why hasn't someone built it yet? One reason could be that many believe that building something like TikTok, let alone a decentralized version of it, is a hefty technical challenge. And I hope that my demo today will show you that it's not only possible, but it can be easy. Since you last saw CanCan -Can at our Tungsten launch event, we've made significant improvements. First, we've improved the performance of BigMap, the scalability solution we created in both Matoko and Rust, to shard and balance data across canisters. Here in CanCan, -Can, we are using the Rust implementation, and it stores videos as binary blobs. We're working on even more improvements, such as canister forking, which will make CanCan -Can lightning fast. Next, we've added Big Search to CanCan. -Can. Earlier today, you saw a demo of Big Search written in Rust, which has been optimized for performance. We also wrote Big Search in Matoko, which you can see here. The most incredible thing about the Matoko implementation of Big Search is how simple it is, nearly 50 lines of code. The Matoko implementation of Big Search leverages several open source projects, such as Matoko Sequence, Matoko CRUD, and the Matoko Base Library. And we use the Vessel Package Manager and its DFX integration to include them in the larger CanCan -Can project. CanCan -Can demonstrates that open internet services can be created from multiple smaller services which are themselves created from individual open source libraries and in multiple languages, in this case, BigMap and Rust and Big Search and Matoko. Thanks to the interface description language Candid, every service running on the internet computer is interoperable with every other. That means you can import external services as easily as the libraries. With CanCan, -Can, these services can interoperate with a common JavaScript program in a common way via Candid and JavaScript Rust libraries that understand this common data language. I also want to mention that our team has been testing our own developer experience as we updated CanCan -Can through several releases of the SDK and Tungsten network upgrades. Let's take a look at CanCan -Can running in action. So what you see here is a live instance of CanCan -Can running on the Tungsten network. So let's go ahead and log in. So what you see here is a preceded video feed. And as we scroll through the feed, what's happening is the chunks of these videos are being retrieved using BigMap. So what we'll do next is go ahead and upload our own video. And let's go ahead and select a video of my adorable senior dog, Beans. So as the video of Beans uploads, what's happening is it's being broken up into chunks and sharded and rebalanced across the network. Great, so it looks like the video of Beans has been uploaded. So let's check out our profile. And there it is. So we can see the video of Beans in my profile. And let's get a look into Big Search in action. So here in the Discover tab, we can see several of the preceded videos, all of which have their own captions and hashtags associated with them. CanCan -Can uses Big Search to store chunks of user-provided text, each chunk is a text file, that are each associated with metadata, such as the CanCan -Can video IDs. It demonstrates simple algorithms that index the text and then search across these data structures. So what we can do is let's go ahead and search for one of the hashtags I attributed to my video of beans, hashtag dog. And you can see that some of the preceded videos that we had of dogs show up using big search and also the new video that we just uploaded of beans. Um, I also use the hashtag cute and there it is. If we click it, we're able to access that video again. So let's go ahead and try to upload another video 
Um, this time a video of beans eating a cannoli, just to show you again how Big Search works. So now we're uploading a separate video of beans, this time with a different caption, so that we can try out Big Search one more time. So now that we have both videos of beans uploaded, uh, we can see both are now in my feed. So let's give another try to big search and search for cannoli. And there's our video of beans. Throwing it a like. We are really excited about the future possibilities of CanCan. We hope that Big Search shows you that as users and developers, we have alternatives to centralized search and black box algorithms, and that it can all be done in less than 50 lines of Matoko code. This combination of Big Search and Big Map unlocks powerful user first functionality, such as breaking up captions and hashtags in one place and the video in another. Because CanCan is going to be open source, anyone can spin up their own instance of CanCan on the internet computer allowing us to create bespoke networks for our coworkers, our friends, and our family, and to selectively share those instances of CanCan into other instances. In many ways, CanCan represents our vision to restore the power of the internet back to the people, and we hope to see you on there. <laughs>